Hey YouTube, Drone Tech here. Well, 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 minutes after reading this story, it's been announced that the DOJ is expecting a conclusion to this hoax investigation, and maybe as early as next week. It would appear that Clapper is making his rounds to tamp down any expectations that the media and the Democrats might have about Russian collusion at the end of this investigation. My instincts tell me that his media appearances right now are less about lowering expectations and more about laying the groundwork for CNN and the rest of the media to spin this story away from their part in the entire sham. You remember that this entire thing kicked off with BuzzFeed reporting on a leaked opposition research dossier, also known as the P dossier, that was funded by the Clinton campaign and was built using foreign intelligence agencies, including the Kremlin. The media ran with it, and we know now that the unverified document was used as an excuse to open this investigation and to get FISA warrants to spy on people within the administration. These are all things that should come back to bite the media networks and the people involved in the scam. You see, once it comes out that there was no Russian collusion or a highly diluted version of their original story, the media will once again attempt to salvage their credibility using similar tactics that we see them using right now in regards to Covington and the Smollett stories. They will simply point their fingers at scapegoats as they present themselves as protectors of truth and democracy. Because of, you know, you consider Putin's background as, as, a, as a trained, experienced KGB agent, and how he would approach somebody that he is trying to co-opt or influence or gain leverage over, and in this case, you know, appeal to uh, uh, ego, and and so in that in that sense, in that context, is what uh, I think of when I mean a potential unwitting asset. Is the Robert Mueller investigation and what's happening in Congress enough? Well, I don't know. I mean, that's the big the big question. Uh, I think the, the, the hope is that the Mueller investigation will clear the air on this issue once and for all. I'm really not sure it will, and, and the investigation, when completed, could turn out to be quite anticlimactic and not draw a conclusion about that. Again, I don't know. Did you notice how Allison Camerata opened the door for more investigations if the Mueller investigation doesn't provide the desired outcome? These people will never stop. Just like the 2016 election, just like Brexit, being wrong or losing election doesn't mean anything to these people. Their agenda will be driven forward regardless. Clapper says, you consider Putin's background as a trained, experienced KGB agent and how he would approach somebody that he's trying to co-opt or influence or gain leverage over. And in this case, you know, appeal to ego. In that sense, in that context, is what I think of what I mean potential unwitting asset. That is some serious backtracking. This relatively new narrative of unwitting asset started a few weeks ago, and I thought it was absurd to the extreme when I first heard it. Anybody could have easily made the case that Obama was a fool and an unwitting asset of Iran, or even Russia. Remember when Obama was speaking to Medvev and assured him that after the election, he would have more power and ability to work with him on missile defense. Any of these people could have come out back then and made the exact same arguments, but they didn't. Or that Democrats are unwitting assets of Mexico and the cartels. After all, the cartels stand to lose money if the wall is built, and they seem to represent Mexicans more than American citizens. My point is, it's not particularly compelling that a political opponent to Trump thinks he's an unwitting asset of another country. The opposition always thinks that. The very fact that Clapper is trying to use this spin to conjure up distrust of Trump is very telling and it suggests that the entire investigation is going to end just like the Duke Lacrosse team story or the Cohen story or the Co Covington story or the Smollett and probably thousands of other examples that never got the same attention. Do get ready because the next couple weeks could either be very decisive or purposely nebulous to allow for continued media spin and usage of this story through the 2020 election. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy my content, and I know many of you do, support me on PayPal or Patreon. You can find the links in the description or in the pinned comment. Thank you.